This is the Carrie wig by Uniwigs in the color Almond Frost. Want to know how I did it? Stay tuned. There's 365 days a year. Who says you have to look the same for all of them? You know I love wigs. But what I found that if you just go out and you buy a wig and you plop the wig on your head, it kind of tends to look like you just popped a wig on your head. And no matter how great the wig is, it looks like a wig. So let's work it in a little bit. Today's beautiful wig was sent to me by a company called Una Wigs, and this is part of their La Vivid collection. It's a synthetic hair wig. It is not very expensive. And of course, I have a discount code for you, which I will drop down below in the description box. This is a long layered sexy style. I get asked a lot to change my hair color. So I always try to do a wig if possible. Comes with a hairnet, comes with its own brush, and it also comes with three little combs. Now I highly recommend taking these combs and stitching them, just a little whip stitch, even I can do it. A little whip stitch, take the three combs, put one at each temple and one at the very back so that it has tension when it's holding on your head. But let's show you today how to put it on without the combs because sometimes y'all have wigs that don't have combs and you wanna know a good way to put them on. I am separating my own hair out because I am going to put a little bit of tint on it to make it a different color for today. Just get that out of the way. So yeah, ignore this blotch on the top of my head. That's attractive. Take your hair and divide it into four sections. They do not have to be mathematically perfect. We're gonna take those four sections. Oh, that whoosh whoosh sound you hear is my cat on his treadmill, cause he likes to exercise a lot. Yes, baby. What a good boy you are. Yeah, I know, yes. Good kitty. What, you're done with your exercises? What, you want pets? I know, I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you, you're a good kitty, I'm watching you. You're doing good. Well, I wasn't really planning on having a cat participating in this video. Are you okay with that? You wanna let mama do a video? Really? So what's great when you have the combs is you don't have to do that part. Hairnet. Now this part in the front, you'll notice that my hair is quite a different color from this hair. Well, I'm gonna make my hair match this hair because the one place that everybody looks at on a wig to see if it's really a wig is right around your hairline. So we're gonna make that hairline look perfect. Today I am using Rue Fanciful. You can get this both in a mousse and you can get it in a liquid. They both work just as well and they smell just as nasty. I like to put my liquid into a spray bottle for ease of application.
you can see it's drippy. I'm gonna hit that with a blow dryer and I'll be right back. Now after blow drying it, you can see I'm left with sort of a soft ash blonde. One of the beautiful things about this color that I selected is that it has so many different colors in it, it's gonna blend with just about anything. So it's not an exact color match, but you won't notice when we get done. Now, one thing I like about a lot of these less expensive wigs is that they have a rooted color, which is very popular right now. So we are going to mimic that rootedness and that's gonna help blur the line even more. There are a lot of ways you can temporarily alter your white or silver hair into another color. One of my favorites is hair chalk. Hair chalk you've seen me do on my purple hair video and my green hair video, and they have all sorts of colors. All my pinks are currently missing because they're on set for something. But while these color chalks are great, even though I'm missing my pinks, they're on set right now, they don't have a good shade of brown. Where you can find some good shades of brown is in a lot of these gray covering hairsprays. These are designed for people who are growing out their gray hair and may have a line of demarcation that they want to blur a little bit, and this helps blur it spectacularly. They have a very fine nozzle, you can see. We're gonna go right around the hairline with that very fine nozzle. So now we got all sorts of colors going on. A little more right there. Just about out happens when you buy something and you use it for two years. I don't use it very often, but you know, it's kind of worth having that $7 can on hand. That way when you need it, you have it. Now we're finally getting to the fun part. The wig is adjustable. It has little adjustable straps so you can make it tighter if you need to. I have a small head, so I often need to take it to the tightest settings. Once again, I would recommend sewing in the combs, but sometimes people have wigs that don't have combs sewn in. I prefer sewing in the combs because then it just makes it all a lot easier. But today we're showing without combs. Now those, That's always the hard spot for me because I have a really, goes really high right there. A little bit of a bald spot developing. Thanks, great grandma. 
I knew that was my legacy when I was a teenager. And no, that's not a cut. I was swatching lipsticks earlier and it was, I was swatching kiss proof lipsticks and this one, it's very kiss proof. So look for that video. Now those pin curls that I made, once I get the wig centered where I want, you take those pin curls and you get the heaviest hairpin you can find. I have had this box for probably 20 years. It has like 300 pins in it and I paid $7.95 for it. Easily 20, I can put the price tag on it. I paid $7.95 for it uh, probably 20 years ago and I still have a box full of these pins. But these are some serious hairpins. So you go through the wig, find, find that little knob that you made there, through the wig, through the wig cap, into the pin curl, straight down, and then you turn it and shove it back. And again, through the wig, where's my knot? There it is. Through the wig, through the wig cap, to the scalp, and then push it back. Do that with the pin curls on the nape as well. That wig is not going anywhere. So now you can really get into blending. You can see that the silver of my hair blends with the ash of the highlights in the wig. The seam is covered with the darker. It all blends in, looks like it's growing out of my head. I like to tease these in together just a little bit so they stay put and don't separate. And that is how you can fake a wig. Fake a different hair color for a night. This is Uniwig's Carry in Almond Frost. Thank you for watching. Drop your comments down below. Have you tried playing with wigs? What are your favorite sort of wigs? Do you prefer the hard topped wig like this one or do you prefer the lace front wigs? I always have a hard time with the lace front wigs because the hairline looks so markedly different from my own. I kind of like having my own hairline, even though it's a little further back than many people would say. I feel like that expresses me and who I am. But there you have it. Thanks for watching. I love you bunches. I'll talk to you very soon. Really? Really, sequel? Right now? You got to exercise right now? Yeah? Okay. Oh, you're leaving now? Or you, you just wanted to make a little noise for a little while? You're super cute. You're super cute. Okay, bye. Cats.
What is with the exercising now? I know, baby, you're such a good kitty. You're such a good kitty. Look at what a good boy you are. Oh, can we show everyone what a good kitty sequel has become? He loves to do his exercises. He loves to do his exercises. He doesn't love to be held. He takes it for a moment, but he'd rather do his exercises. See? Yeah, well, we gave that a shot. Ow. Kitty scratches on the belly. That's no fun. <laughs>